Please like, share, and subscribe for more stories. From his first brain surgery at the ripe old age of two, he looked up at me and I knew at that point he was never gonna quit. After Jacob passed away, he decided to honor Jacob's memory by turning his ashes into a diamond to commemorate him, you know? And for me, when I touch him, think about it, hold it. Here at Eternova, we celebrate your loved one's life by turning their cremated remains into a diamond. Oh golly, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, it's really beautiful. Thank you so much. Every loved one has a story, and at Eternova, we want to learn more about them and the impact and the meaning that they had in your life. Frank, before he passed, he pretty much set up the garage for the boys to spend time together. When you're a teenager, you don't realize the concept of time, and you know you don't realize what your parents do for you. But you should because the most important time that you can spend is with your parents. You never know when something can happen. Hello, Colleen. This is Kira with The Lab here at Eternova, and I am honored and excited today to bring you this very special update for the love of your life, your high school sweetheart, Frank. Coming to work every day is so important to me because I get to be a part of this grief journey with everyone that's involved in creating a diamond for someone special to them. The updates that we create, that's just something that I, I, I pour my heart into so that they know that there's someone that cares about their grief, their journey, and their loved one. <gasps> Welcome home. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is beautiful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's beautiful. It all starts with a diamond seed. So these are all little natural faceted diamonds and we're gonna pick out the perfect shape to start the base of your diamond. I incorporate that little diamond seed into what I call a seed plate and I build up from there with a metal alloy, their carbon disc. I seal everything in a core. Now we need to put seed inside. Diamond seed is embedded. This is the fundamental beginning to the diamond. Next is our carbon disc and the metal alloy. So just like I made this seed plate, I also will make a beautiful carbon disc from the carbon of your loved one. And that is actually what forms the diamond inside all around the seed itself. And then a bunch of different compounds come together for thermal expansion and insulation and electrical conductance all together in this little growth cell to grow your diamond in a hydraulic press. This is Bertha. She's one of my best friends, Big Birdie, we're really close, and she does all the heavy lifting for me, if you know what I mean. Like literally, there's a hydraulic cylinder and it lifts 870,000 PSI, so um, I'm not capable, but she's more than capable. These two plates will finely compress everything together in these little cylinders and uh, we're gonna get to some super high pressure and super high temperature, which is a perfect recipe for a diamond. Beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 boop, boop, beep, 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 bop. Science is happening now. We're golden, pony boy. There she goes, starting up, heavy lifting. That's my girl. Um, so now we're going to reach over 500 bar of pressure, um, 870,000 PSI. It's like two dozen elephants stacked on top of each other. So uh, it's gonna get pretty spicy in here in just a little bit. This is my cat. I just was so thankful. I decided to turn Serena into a diamond. It's a little bit extra, whatever, she was my girl. Our loved ones come in all shapes and sizes from people to pets. They're all part of our family. And whether you receive uh, a diamond that is from a loved one that is a human, or maybe a dog or a cat, 
you still have very special bonds and we're able to create diamonds out of both. I actually decided when I was 16 that I was <laughs> that I was going to turn him into a diamond. You know, some of my some of my greatest rides on him weren't even in competition. They were at home just hanging out with him. So, yeah. This whole experience is an emotional ride from the start to finish. So we incorporate transparency at all steps of the way to make sure that they get to have that emotional experience that's true. And at the end, when they receive the diamonds in what we call the homecoming. I get to have my mom with me every single day. And I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy I get to have that. <laughs> what is it? It's Big Boo. <laughs> it's Big Boo. It's Big Boo. It's Big Let Boo. Let me see it. Oh my gosh, there's a whole array uh, from happiness and joy to just being overwhelmed that occurs and there's always a little bit of closure that happens when they finally receive the diamond because it's like their person is back with them in a really special way. I'm so happy. It's beautiful. Oh, oh my God. Wow. This is That's beautiful. Oh my God. One of Eternova's core missions is to change the perception around death. In our society, we often follow these patterns. Um, having a funeral after someone's died and then the attention just kind of dissipates. And a lot of people don't know what to do after the funeral. So having this physical piece of your person or pet with you at all times can be a reminder on a daily basis of the love that you shared and different characteristics of that person that you might be able to incorporate into personalizing the diamond. From the setting to the color, maybe the, maybe the diamond's blue like their eyes. And it also gives you an opportunity to share that with other people. Someone asking you, what's that lovely piece? And you can respond, that this was a person who meant something to me and share more about their story in that way.